So far we have discovered many things and we have studied many different objects that appeared in the universe since the Big Bang. But the first few hundred millions after the Big Bang is still left out to be explored. And this is where the power of James Webb Space Telescope comes to handy, being perfect candidate to get the job done. Equipped with highly sensitive infrared instruments aboard, Webb's early data released images showed many galaxies from those earliest 100 million years appeared. But what more interesting is a galaxy that seems to be appearing at two places simultaneously. So what is this about? Why is this galaxy so important and how did Webb telescope pinpoint at this ancient galaxy? This is the Universe Factory. And let's find out the answers of these questions in today's video. Before that, quickly subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification if you haven't already. This way you'll be the first one to get notified whenever we post latest updates. Additionally, find us on social media platforms, links to which have been mentioned in the description. Be sure to check out. Now let's begin with today's video. It's going to be super interesting. Let's do this. Astronomers focus the lens of Webb telescope towards a galaxy that is older than any other we have observed. We already know that if we are looking at a galaxy around 10 billion light years away, we are actually looking at the light that is emitted around 10 billion years ago. Since the universe is expanding constantly, the wavelength of the light also increases, we call it as red shifting denoted by the letter Z. Greater the value of Z, farther away are the objects from us. Hubble Space Telescope's limitation is up to around Z equal to 11, beyond which it cannot observe any further. But thanks to the highly sensitive infrared instruments, James Webb Space Telescope can look back into times when the universe was just around 200 million years old after the Big Bang. So it has given us incredible view of objects that are around Z equal to 13 era. That's the farthest we have ever able to see through the telescope. There are many candidates galaxies found that are located at around between Z equal to 10 and Z equal to 13. But astronomers spotted a particular galaxy that is around record breaking nearly Z equal to 17 away from us. The galaxy that we are talking about is CS 1749 and what's special about this galaxy is that it existed in first 220 million years after the Big Bang. Do you know what does that mean if we are looking at this galaxy? It means that we are looking at the dawn of the time. This candidate of high redshift galaxy is located in constellation Bootes and has a light travel distance of 12.6 billion years. Due to the expansion of the universe, a present proper distance of 25.7 billion light years. Given the age of this galaxy, it has been found to be having mass of staggering 5 billion solar masses. If this galaxy is confirmed to lie at Z equal to 17, then astronomers feel that we have to revise our understanding of early galaxy evolution models because it is very much challenging to produce such brilliantly luminous massive galaxies only nearly after 200 million years after the Big Bang. This galaxy is assumed to be undergoing intense burst of star formation activity at higher rates, probably much higher rate than that of our Milky Way. Additionally, this galaxy is found to be exceptionally luminous, which is something unexpected for an object that existed just 220 million years after the Big Bang. This galaxy is also dubbed as the Schrodinger's galaxy. The observation strongly suggests that this galaxy lies around at a redshift of Z equal to 17. But there is also a probability that Z equal to 5 solutions could also be true. So this galaxy appears to be at a two different locations at a time, hence the name Schrodinger's galaxy. This is the reference to the Schrodinger's cat experiment which is dead and alive at the same time until you observe it. So why this galaxy can be at a redshift of Z equal to 5? Firstly, the galaxy's nearest neighbors lie at around redshift of Z equal to 5. One of these neighbor galaxies is found to have mass of 100 billion solar masses. 
This may suggest that CS 1749 is a satellite galaxy to the other massive galaxy, just like Magellanic clouds are to Milky Way. Secondly, it appears to be located at a thick protocluster environment, so it may could be undergoing a merger with some other galaxy, even may be undergoing tidal disruption because of its massive neighbor. Also, galaxies located at around redshift of Z equal to 5 have limited star formation rates as per the current cosmological models. Such galaxies have star formation rate at around just 0.1 solar masses per year, which is equivalent to just around 3% of Milky Way's star formation rate. If that is true, then CS1749 must be the most distant quiescent galaxy ever found. These quiescent galaxies are known by their large stellar masses, old stars along with very low amount of cold gas and dust along with the very low star formation rate. These findings of galaxies being at redshift z equal to 5 truly challenges our current understanding of the galaxy evolution. If this galaxy is found to be at redshift z equal to 17, then as mentioned earlier, we will be looking at the dawn of the time. The universe never fails to amaze us. Thank you for watching today's video. We hope you got to learn something interesting today. If you do like and share this video with everyone and help us grow our community of stargazers. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified with our latest updates and happenings in the world of astronomy. Meanwhile watch these interesting videos in the suggestion. We'll be back with yet another super interesting video for you soon. Till then. Keep looking up.